Welcome to Best Herbs for Herpes Simplex Virus or HSV. And I, like everybody else, wanted to find out like what's the best way to um, not have outbreaks and stuff like that, right? So, and how to, how to do it long term and how to sustain it. Like basically how to never have an outbreak for the rest of your life. How could, how could I do that and where does one get that, right? So, I went to um, Annie's Remedy. So I'm a I'm a big fan of An Annie's Remedy.com. You know, if you have any, it's always like my base of like where do I go? What do I do? What's going on? How does this work? Annie's you know Annie's Remedy always helps me. And it, you know as I'm reading this, I find out that this stuff is basically a viral infection, um, and something that's going to work well long term is an is an antiviral right so you kind of click on antivirals and then you have a list of antivirals so like all the homework is done in a sense for you all the tough stuff is done so basically the antivirals that are out there that are going to combat a viral infection whether it's a common cold i mean a common cold is a virus right a cold sore is a virus uh, HSV is a virus, right? Um, there's a million strains of a viral infection, but if you want to combat a viral strain, you need an antiviral herb, right? And different strokes for different folks, but that is the that's the base, antivirals, right? So as I went over the antivirals, I, there's aloe vera, ashwagandha, astragalus, uh, balsam of Peru. Um, carrot, chaga, chamomile, cinnamon, cinnamon, excuse me, uh, dung quai, it's funny, I didn't know dung quai was antiviral, echinacea, elderberry, eucalyptus, fennel seed, golden seal, grapes, yada, 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 lavender, lemon balm, mullein, uh, oregano, powdiarco, reishi mushrooms, rosemary, sarsaparilla, which is sarsaparilla, Tea, tea tree oils, thyme. It goes on and on and on, right? These are all uh, antivirals. So basically, okay, great. I take that information and I kind of jump on other websites. I plug and play with that. I'm on Living Strong, for example, .com, another great site for you know generic information. Trying to like figure out is this true? Is this not true? You know. So uh, Living Strong or LiveStrong.com basically says you know what are the best herbs for for herpes they're saying uh lemon balm for example saint john's wort and licorice right okay great uh i'm on uh homehealthline.com so I, I i googled once again like best herbs for herpes best antivirals for herpes and I'm coming up with uh, Greek sage, eucalyptus, Mexican oregano, lemon balm, uh, combining sage and rhubarb extract, licorice extract, echinacea, neem, right? So I went on to some websites trying, okay, now I've got these herbs. So I went on to some websites, um, Great Herbs, Mountain Rose Herbs, sells good stuff, good quality, and herbs and spices. And I'm going through their herbs and spices, how to buy them. And, I, you know, I basically find out that it's going to cost in the upwards to get it, you know, aloe vera, um, for example, um, eight ounce a pound. So it's going to cost for, for a pound of this. I want this to last forever. I'm in it for the long haul. Um, so I'm going to get a pound of this, pound of that. I'm going to get like 10 or 15, 20 different herbs, two times. So it's going to cost a couple hundred bucks with shipping, 260, 280, 340, depending on, you know, the herbs I get. Some of these herbs are $26 a pound. Some of them are $68 a pound. Some of them I can't even find. Some of these herbs aren't sold in the United States. So, it, you know, it's, it's getting now up to a couple hundred dollars uh, easily. To get some of these herbs so I'm shopping around some more bought some herbs from them mountain rose love them and then uh, came across a site called herbistat that because I was shopping these herbs putting in these lists of herbs like who has these and then I found out that they kind of bundle the herbs right so they had 
a pre-mixture of antivirals. So they literally had a antiviral mix. Herbistat.com had an antiviral mix. So lemon balm, St. John's, oregano, sarsaparilla, paldiarco, ashwagandha, hyssop, L-lysine, oregano, astrag, licorice, olive leaf, echinacea, uh, and then they had kelp, aloe vera, fenugreek, shiitake, mushrooms, whey protein. So they basically had, you know, what I was looking for. Um, and the shipping was like five bucks or something like that, and the prices are 39 bucks. Um, so it was nice, cheap, you know. And uh, I can get a year's supply probably for 150 bucks, 130 bucks, you know, basically. So. Uh, that's where I went that's what I did that's how I ended up doing it um, you do your own work I'm sure you can there's the base here but um, that's what ended up working for me and uh, they work like a charm you know long story short I every day of my life is um, a pinch of the I take a, 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 a all those herbs mixed together. I don't know, there's 20 some herbs. I take a pinch of that, just they're all there mixed up. You take a pinch, here's a pinch. Now I'll take another pinch, two pinches, put it in my blender, blend it up, and I drink it. That's how I do it. And um, works like a charm. Um, I can honestly say that I haven't had an outbreak in 10 years. It is what it is. Hope things are well. Talk to you soon.